Hey guys, how are we doing? Back with another video from Totally Not Mark, and we're doing another uh, Every Dragon Ball Super insert word here in s uh, 10 words or less. I know it said 7, but that was the Sunbow game in the day. I'm enjoying these, these are fun. And I think he's done the Universal Survival arc in this format. So we'll do that one next. But until then, let's check this one out. Hey guys, people seem to hey. enjoy watching these 10 words or less videos, so I figured why not make another one? Only this They're time, good. review each individual fight in Dragon Ball class. Super in, you guessed the 10 words or less. Now, seeing as there is room for misinterpretation <laughs> here, I figured that we should clip. lay down some ground rules. For a fight to be considered a fight, it needs to be a physical confrontation where at least two people participate and know that they are participating. Right. This rules out beers destroying worlds and things of that nature. These fights will also be rated on a scale from minus 10 to 10. Minus 10 being so bad it's amazing, mm -hmm. and 10 just being genuinely Absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. So, yes. in theory, the closer a fight is to zero, the worse it is, because it's just either way. Bad. Yeah. Also, scale and context will play a large role in rating these individual fights. Meaning, a small comedic fight can still be a ten out of ten if it's as good as it can be. It doesn't need to be right. a ending clash. This video will cover every fight up until the beginning of the Tournament of Power. Interesting. And I figured that alone is worth its own video. In sweet, the sweet. Special yeah. Special thanks cool. to Jello Apocalypse again for the concept, and without further ado, Such let's review channel. every fight in Dragon Ball Super in ten, ten words or less. Or less. Incredible opening clash. I can feel the hype. <laughs> Not gonna lie, given the context, this is surprisingly decent. Uh, Majestic in its terribleness, it's the room of fight scenes. Minus eight. Motherfucker! <laughs> <laughs> it's bad. You know it's rough when rock, paper, scissors is bad. Huh. These episodes in, we finally get a good fight scene. scene. I mean, it's. Uh, well, I mean, yeah, but. Yeah, it's kind of the just middle, isn't it? To perpetuate Hercule's lie is hilarious. Insightful and planted seeds for 100 episodes later. Mm -hmm. Awesome. <laughs> See you in episode 89, Tien. Oh, Man, damn. <laughs> these first arcs are rough to get through. Shit. Yeah. This was just horrible. I mean, wow. Hey, hey look, it's Ginyu. Why though? It was a really random Ginyu's thought, wasn't it? Because then they just got rid of him. Of <laughs> 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 oh my god, amazing. Actually decent, arguably better than the movie's version. This was really lame. I've seen pigeons fight more aggressively. Genuinely won't be up during an otherwise boring episode. Uh, Gohan, why must you tempt us with training? I know, it's like, oh god damn, he's doing something and then no. And... Yeah, it's good. Goku, no! Okay, that was really cool. Yeah, it was class. Solid enough fight. Sucks to see how irrelevant Piccolo's now. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Best fight Vegeta's had in a long time. It was interesting, it was cool. Fantastic. The way you just went boom. Ah, the pecking order. Goku, you're up. Incredibly important fight that yeah. put Super back on the It road. really did. Super's got the best thriller. This was just fun. Mm. Go, nameless henchman. You can totally do it. Uh. Really cool seeing Vegeta in the typical hero role. Mm. Obligatory Gotenks cameo. Way better than it had any right to be. Yes, it was, wasn't it? It should have been awful. Series. Weirdly nostalgic seeing Goku stop, stop the sword with the fingers, yeah. I but it's the same three modes, it's different. Fight. Great animation, great Goku art, Black was just interesting, it was amazing, it was boss. It's not easy being green. Hey, Trunks, try to light the punch. Sound familiar, anybody? Important scene that shows cracks in Zamasu's facade. Mm. Poor Vegeta. Goku Black shouldn't be this powerful. Already. I know, yeah. Some uh... of the best animation the series has ever seen. Okay. Nice to see Goku get serious again. Great scene. Boss. Given the hype after that transformation, this was majorly disappointing. Okay, that's more like it. Much more Keep exciting. Keep going. Very much the secondary fight in this episode. Yeah, that's right, Vegeta. Destroy that black guy. Uh, what? what? <laughs> I mean, I dig at this art, <laughs> but shit's getting oh, weird. Go. Father Son Galaxy was pretty dogs cool. Dogs go mental in the background. Say. Final Kamehameha? Vegito Blue? <laughs> that was class. Absolutely scene, awesome. Short, but spectacular. Oh god, no, please, no! <laughs> Stab! I enjoyed this way more than I probably should have. The rally There's fight was. Charming about this yeah. Innocent it was funny. Ooh, Beerus is going to do the thing! He did it! He did, did the, the thing! thing. <laughs> well, I hope these guys will eventually fight. Didn't expect this to happen. Hell yeah! Yep, this actually counts. Uh... Three shoulders make me uncomfortable. First time they fought since the Cell Games. 
So good. Brilliant, unique, and touching interactions between Krillin, yeah, it was really good for Krillin's character, that wasn't it? Better than I thought it'd be. Hot damn, Goku deflected that? Hashtag progress, hashtag fit Great to see Boo fight again. Been way too long. Mm -hmm. Lavender's John Cena. Get it? Because she can't she can see him. See right. Him? And they say every dog has his day. Not today. Justice for Dash! Alright, this was pretty neat, I gotta say. Yeah, it was alright. This was fucking awesome! Great animation! For 1999, you too can get Majin this Buu's instant weird. abs. <laughs> Kinda wanted a better introduction to Dispo. Genuinely awesome to see Android 17. It was again. so cool to see him on the screen, but this mm. arc so far. This is definitely a thing that happens. I actually like this. It was simple, but decent. A playful amount of domestic abuse. Oh, it took 88 episodes, but Gohan is back. Kind so, of, yeah. This is the first time they've fought since Dragon Ball. Oh, look. Tien thinks he's healthy. <laughs> Let's ignore that Gohan got this power in, in a day. day yeah. Ironic, Goku still doesn't understand the gravity of this situation. Ha ha, get it? Super <laughs> you say? Hold my beer. Frieza really puts the laughter in manslaughter. That was Amazing class. With Seeing Frieza just go all out. Very pretty. Ultra Instinct Karibo. Karibo. And that's all of them. I say all out. No, it just seemed like loose as well. Now, I know none of you guys out there want to sift through all of those to see what I thought the best were, so here are my top five, five favorite fights in Dragon Ball Super up until the Tournament of Power. Okay. Top five. Number five. Goku versus Goku. So Black, good. Episode 50. As the only fight set in present day with the arc's antagonist, yes. this is Goku's first encounter with Goku and Black. It was so it's beautiful color confusing. It's like, why is he smiling? The dreary setting the rest of the arc set and has some of the best animation the series and the has way it seen flashed up over him. Good Goku, angles, what Goku looks like on it was just like, whoa. And standard animation, this is one fight scene that will be talked about from now and into the future. Number four. Goku vs. Oh Hit, my God. episode 39. I'll always Recognized remember that. Recognized by many as the moment Dragon Ball Super became awesome again. Yep. This fight truly lives up to that legacy. Being the last two fighters for their respective universes, the conclusion to the tournament seemingly falls onto their shoulders. Coming packed with some wonderful animation, I'd be remiss not to point out that this marked the series' return for the Kaioken technique also. It's one of my favorite moments but in the series. But it's not in the manga, which is weird. I ever forget. Number three. Golden Frieza versus the Assassins, episode 95. Oh, no. Like many other fans of Dragon Ball, mm. when the time came to resurrect the Emperor of the Universe, I was dreading. It was cool to see him just Frieza flat loose. one of my favorite characters in the show's long history. However, moments from the Resurrection F arc of Super had served to devalue and straight up destroy the character in some cases. Mm. However, the Universe Survival arc episodes that covered Frieza's recruitment are some of my favorites in the entire series. Never have I seen a character handled so well in Super. Following the best Frieza transformation in this oh, series, so well animated, well, the gold sinister and that. destruction of these pawns sent to assassinate the evil emperor, concluding with Frieza overpowering a god of destruction's energy blast. It's a fantastic fight for the rebirth of a fantastic character. Yeah, it was close. Bow to the emperor. Back Number the emperor. two, Goku and Trunks versus Zamasu and Black, episode fifty-seven. So. There I was, oh my god, my computer, so good. The way Goku just goes behind him when he hits the Out of nowhere, episode 57 delivers the absolute best fight scene Super had ever seen up until this point. Crazy angles, high-paced action Flying sequences, all over the place. invasive backhand springs, fantastic Throwing him into walls. This really had it all. And the funny thing is, it's very much buried in the middle of this arc with very little pomp and ceremony surrounding it. So I wouldn't be surprised if this whole scene went unnoticed by some people skimming through the series looking for the good bits. So I good. couldn't recommend checking it out more. Number one, View Zamasu vs. Vegeta. Vegeta. There's so much hype 66. and nostalgia about it. For some, it could be a toss-up between episode 57 and this as to which delivered the best fight scene. But this isn't just about animation. Despite the fight having tons of fantastic stuff, narratively speaking, there is significant tension in the air, because you know that this could very well be the last chance to defeat Zamasu. It provides us with the return yeah. of Vegito, a fan-favorite character, and introduces us to a move I am sure will be in Dragon Ball games for hundreds of years to come. The final Kamehameha. Breathtaking Absolutely fight. crazy. But I'm sure you guys don't really care about the best of something. So let's see what the worst is, yeah. Kind of the worst of the worst here as well. That's right. Here are my bottom five Dragon Ball Super fight scenes. Okay. Bottom five. 
number five, Future Trunks vs. Black and Zamasu, oh. episode 62. Following arguably one of the most hyped transformations Such cool in the transformation. entire series of Super, Trunks combats both Black and Zamasu. It's stiff, lifeless, and truly awful. There's not much else I can say about it except just look. Look at the awfulness melting on the screen. Number four, Zamasu vs. Oh, yeah, Zeno, episode 67. After what was easily the best arc Dragon Ball Super It really did ruin all the tension. Came Zeno to ruin everything as they were passing the finish line. In one scene, Zeno destroys the entire point of the arc, thus making it entirely pointless. Zamasu taking the form of the sky is also a pretty dumb idea too. Yeah. It's clear that these guys had no idea how to finish this arc. The only thing that would have been worse is if Goku suddenly woke up on his way back from the Universe 6 tournament, making this all a dream. Number 3. Goku vs. Botano, oh, episode 33. Speaking There's of nothing the Universe to it. 6 tournament arc, let's talk about the first fight of said tournament. Botano vs. Goku. This big yellow abomination is the eyesore of this arc. Every other fight is decent to great, so this guy really let the side down. Even his name is boring and shit. Botano, wow. <laughs> I don't even want to talk about him. He's that damn boring. And you know what? I'm not. He's shit. Y'all know it. Move it on. Damn. Number two. Goku vs. Beerus, uh, episode 5. The animation. One of the most infamous moments in the entire series history. Episode 5's confrontation between Beerus and Goku is truly a difficult one to stomach. It being years removed since the scene first oozed out of our TV screens, I actually sort of find it funny now. And I can still enjoy some truly excellent cuts of animation within the fight also. Another thing stopping it from taking the number one spot is that it only took up a portion of a single episode. This scene is very much the drug oh God, there we are. family that oh no. you all know means well but fucks up regularly. It's charming in a way. Oh God. Nothing like the next one. Number one, oh no. Goku vs. Frieza. Episodes 24, 25, and 26. I think it's so fair to say that this is the, the worst thing Dragon Ball has ever made. And I'm including GT in that. There oh, isn't a single damn. redeemable aspect to this fight apart from a few seconds of animation. And even then, that's pushing it. It's recapping a fight that was done ten times better in a movie. Mm -hmm. It adds nothing to the confrontation and clearly is from start to finish going through the motions. It's an embarrassing and lazy blemish on an otherwise legendary anime's legacy. This fight is literally the worst. There you have it. Fantastic. I do like these videos. They're class. We'll do the Universal Survival Arc one next. Just for noises and stuff in the background, the dog and that. Today is my last day here, and it's I'm kind of sad because I've been looking after the, this cute black lab dog and uh, staying here with my girlfriend for these two weeks and that like, and uh, it's been absolutely boss. Uh, but I do apologise if like the sound's been off or if you've been uh, put off with the camera being at this angle instead of the other angle or. Other little things, uh, the lighting sometimes when it's night time, I'm going to use my phone to be able to backlight. Uh, but I hope you appreciate the fact that I've still been doing the two videos a day, even though I've had all this stuff going on as well. Um, not saying, ooh, you should praise me, but like, you know, I'm still trying to get the stuff out there regardless of what situation I'm in. So, uh, yeah. Thank you guys for putting up with all stuff and being patient with me. Uh, thank you guys very much for watching. What did you guys think of that? What did you guys think of this? Click like, subscribe if you haven't already. Leave comments down below. Let me know what I should watch and discuss in future videos. And I'll see you guys. So you guys. Nah, damn.